If you haven't heard, Austin Holloman basically trolled Kendra G on her own daggone show while he allegedly was already live and Kendra got all riled up, blah, 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 blah. Same old crap, different day, different biatch. So it's titled, Looking for Black Women That Have Respect for Black Men, said Afro-Latinas and Africans have us beat. Child, before I even start this video, before I even start this damn video, this we don't care, I don't care, we don't care, I don't care, we don't care, I don't care, then all of a sudden you care. Like, seriously, where is the reality of you don't care? And then it's always all this talkity talk, talk, talking. Okay, I think it's better. Okay, all right, let's do it. Austin, okay, you look good. How old are you, Austin? Before, sorry, y'all. You know why he looked good? His lighting was already ready. He was ready. Now, I know he was allegedly live streaming, but imagine if half of these biatches that came onto this daggone show was already ready, already not bonnet ready, already not ready for bed, already not laying down, but standing up, sitting up properly, having good light, ready to talk and speak and having the microphone, all that stuff, the show would be something completely different. But, you know, that's just crazy talk. I'm just a what supremacist talking, what supremacist talking points. I'll be 25 in two weeks. Happy 25 birthday. 25 in two weeks. So you're a tourist. When's your birthday? May 16th. <laughs> Well, 2024, be 25 May 16th. What do you do for a living? I'm a YouTuber as well. Oh, you're a YouTuber. Okay. I don't consider myself a YouTuber, but I respect that. That's what you consider yourself. Well, I got this. I is guess my I main am a YouTuber, but I consider myself a journalist, but I understand. I understand. I am That's a I'm a journalist too. I've said that as well. Okay. Child, there's people that consider themselves models and they really not. So we can all say whatever. I'm a woman. I'm a man. Tomorrow I'm a woman. The next day I'm a dog. The three days from now I'll be a cat, child. In the United States, you can say whatever the hell it is that you want and that makes it true. Just because in your crazy ass head, you think it's, you say it, so it got to be true. Child, ain't nobody got time. Child, I'm already ranting. Hey, but, you, but do you want me to call you a YouTuber or a journalist? I want you to call me Austin Holloway. <laughs> the question is, what do you do for a living, honey? YouTube. Okay. Um, do you have any kids? I would hope not. <laughs> so the answer is no? No. Okay. And where are you calling me from? Dallas. Dallas. All right, let's get into it. We got Austin, Dallas, 25. Um, well, almost 25, May 16th. He's a YouTuber, no kids. Lives in Dallas. What kind of woman are you looking for? I'm looking for black women that have respect for black men. <laughs> so you think black women don't have respect for black men? Check this out. I've been all around the world, and I'm going to tell you, Afro-Latinas and Africans got y'all beat. Got us beat. And how And how do they have us beat? On every front. Then why not just date them and be happy? I live in Latin America. I'm just here to get my paperwork so I can stay going from y'all. But what I'm saying is, listen, <laughs> I have no, whatever your desire is, your desire is. Ah, uh, did he just say so I can stay gone for y'all? Child, Kendra, why? Child, why do you even engage? I don't understand, child. Because you know what it is? I'm going to tell you. I'm going to tell you. I'm going to tell you. You're not going to tell me. I'm going to tell you. I'm going to tell you. You heard what I said? Because I'm going to tell you. You're not going to tell me. I'm going to tell you. Oh, Lord, Lord, Lord. So if you found the type of woman that wants to date you the way you want to be dated, why not just focus on her? What would be the point of coming up here to ask for a black woman that you because don't really feel I, I want to, I'm, I'm still trying while I'm here, so I want to see if my mind can be changed. No one cares. I said, no one cares about changing your damn mind, honey. <laughs> really? Not, not so, so, so nobody has the interest in changing my mind? No, it's not about nobody having the interest. You said you found a group of women that have the interest, a group of women that you like. We're not mad at it. You should date those women. I mean, you I came on, you listen, you you came on dissing black women saying that they were not. Um, I, didn't, I didn't say that. I didn't. I never said that. You said that. Well, you said that you were looking for a black woman that has respect for black women. And you said Afro-Latino and African women. Black have men. Beat. So my thing is you should focus on those group of women then, since they have us beat, right? Yes, but I'm in the United States right now. Okay. Well, there's those group of women live in the United States too. 
And that's why so, I, I guess my thing is like, if, if you have a problem with black women, we're okay with it. No, 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 no. I don't. I've said many times on my channel, the issue is not specifically black women, it's American culture. Well, when I the first, I'm repeating what you said. And what you said was, you want a black woman that... Yeah, see, you did say that, Austin. You said black women, so don't don't try to backtrack it off now, okay? You went straight for black women. That's what you said, and you knew daggone well, one, Kendra was going to come back. Two, the comments, I'm sure, were commenting. And three, this was a way to get them all riled up. See, for those that give a damn about all this, child, because you know I don't give one damn. They'll be, they're going to be all riled up, probably went over to his channel and got into his comment section because he allegedly was live and got into his comment section on videos and tell him, how dare you say that? The most disrespected woman is black. Child, no, nobody give a damn. But you know, these people can't keep nothing to themselves. Everything is offensive. Everything is offendable and can't hold your tongue, can't move on, can't let it go. Kendra, why didn't you just hang up on him? That has respect for black men. And then I said, okay, are you not finding that? And then you said other cultures had us beat. What kind of woman are you looking for? I'm looking for black women that have respect for black men. So you think black women don't have respect for black men? Check this out. I've been all around the world, and I'm going to tell you, Afro-Latinas and Africans got y'all beat. Got us beat. And how, and how do they have us beat? On every front. You said other cultures, um, cultures have us beat. As a black woman, I'm saying spend your time with them. We're okay. We're, we're not upset. Really? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, if anyone is gonna come and talk about us as a collective and say that we're not worthy enough, well, we bid you. I never said that. I never said that. I never said that. But I'll tell you this: since I've been back in the United States, it hasn't been convincing to switch back over. That's why I'm here today. Okay. Well, again, we can proceed. I'm just saying. Kendra, why do you even entertain this stuff? Girl, why do you even entertain this stuff? He just now said, I'm trying to see if some if if someone can convince me to switch back over. Girl, why do you entertain this? Girl, why would you even continue on? Not even because of the fact that we know from what I've seen that he's trolling, but it's just ignorance. So why even entertain it? Child, Kendra G will entertain any damn thing, I tell you. That's why it's like a ish show, and that's why I don't even want to watch it and you know, react to it or anything because it's just more foolishness upon foolishness upon foolishness that don't make no daggone sense. Women think that they're going to tell everybody else in the world what to do. You're going to do what I say. I'm going to tell you. And it's like, why waste your time, energy, effort? You said, I bid you, I bid you, a, what is it? I bid you adieu. Is that what they say? I bid you farewell. Whatever she said, child. She should have just hung up the phone. That's it. That's all. If you found what you're looking for, I'm not sure why you're calling here, but thanks for stopping by. Click. Nope. I'm going to tell you. that. That's what I'm hearing, child. And for one black person to another, go where you're appreciated. That's for everybody. Go where you appreciate it. There, there, don't, don't worry about it. If, if you found a culture or you found a human being that dates you and the one you want, the way you want to be dated, spend your energy there. And that's for any single person. I would agree. Okay. So, Austin... 25 years ago. Okay, so the question is, what kind of woman are you looking for? So you said a black woman that doesn't disrespect black men. Anything else? But she will keep going. That's the base of it. Well, do you want to give examples in which ways that you have fine black women? <laughs> so women disrespectful? by that, I'm saying she should be respectable when she talks to the man. She should be respectable with the man's time, his wants, and she should be considerate of his needs as well. Because it's, okay. it's always not one-sided. I hear in the United States, it's always one-sided. Well, I can ask you one more question just about the other ethnicities that you said have us beat. Have you dated them? Yes, I have. So what happened? Why are you not with them anymore? Oh, I'm traveling. I'm traveling, so I can't commit, but I've experienced. So why did those relationships end? Just because you were Oh, they ain't they, 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 I got plenty on standby. They haven't ended yet. I've oh, they're on standby. <laughs> this is like a plane. They're waiting to board. Yeah, I'm going to have some black kids, that's for sure. Okay, okay, well, let's keep going. So, um, disrespectful, <laughs> anything else? And you got to the deal breakers. I'm, this is supposed to be the part of what you want. What do you mean? Like, the question is, because in the deal breakers, you could say, I don't want a disrespectful woman. This question is, what kind of woman are you looking for? So I guess the good qualities that you desire should be your answers. <sighs> like I said, how she talk to the man, his respectful of his time, please hit the gym. Please hit the gym. <laughs> and the pH needs to be balanced as well. Damn, not the pH. It's a gym, pH is ah. I have a lot of questions for you. I will get to your questions. Don't worry. Not the pH. Um, anything need to be else balanced. before we go to your deal breakers? 
No, go ahead. Go ahead. Um, okay, let me read some of these questions. They're begging me to read these questions. Um, so, uh, Marika, I can't pronounce your name, said he paid $100 to argue and to get some Red Bull followers. <clears throat> I didn't pay. How does she know? What he's trying to do. And ain't no red pill people in Kendra's damn chat. She out here telling the sisterhood being being uh, cohesive only for foolishness. Clearly. You see that, right? Girl, this is crazy. Ain't nothing. I didn't ask nobody to pay nothing. You paid? Somebody sent me $100 to pick you. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't send it. I didn't ask them to send it. Oh, so somebody else sent it? Yeah, that oh, wasn't my Lord, name. This is a okay, dumb so conversation. Okay, Courtney said he's live now using you. You're live now? I was live first and they said you should call in because I was supposed to date a black woman here in Dallas, several black women in Dallas, but y'all know how y'all are, so. <laughs> how, well, I, I, don't, I don't live in Dallas, so I can't speak for the black. You know, not every black woman is the same, right? You can't make one statement. I know they're not because I've been a Latin American. Oh, you can't generalize that all black women are the same. And yet, and yet. It's okay to say crust, dust, must, rust, ashy ass bums with regard to everything. Child, the sun came up. It's a black man's fault. Child, the sun went down. It's a black man's fault, child. Child, somebody was out there over at McDonald's and the line was long. It's a black man's fault. Child, somebody went to Starbucks and they was taking forever and they got my order wrong. Child, it was a black man's fault. That's what y'all say every single day, every single minute, every single hour. And then... All the people on this daggone show, all they do is, I don't want a man anymore who steals. I don't want a man anymore who doesn't take care of his kids. I don't want a man who doesn't know how to communicate. I don't want a man who cheats. I don't want a man who's a narcissist. I want a man who makes $500 million. Girl, what? I don't want a man who only makes $150,000. Girl, what? <laughs> we could go on forever with this. And it's okay for them to say it all day, half the night. And Kendra encourages it. We've synced it. I've synced it. We already know what it is. But Austin come in here and say, black women, blah, 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 blah. Now she's like, you know, we're all not the same. You know, you can't categorize us all. Okay, of course he can't because the black woman said so. <laughs> Child, I can't stand it. I can't stand it. I don't know how y'all do it. Good luck, gentlemen. S Y C B M. S Y C B M. They're not the same. Okay, you have to stop your live on your page, though. So, are you live right now? I'll, I'll stop my live. Go ahead. I'm gonna stop my live too. I don't got time to try. I don't got time. How about that? No, Kendra, you did have time. That's why you entertained it. Because you always entertain the foolishness. But now she got attitude. You could tell the way that she's talking. She got attitude and she mad. Prior to that, she's ready for this foolishness to be up here because that's what gets her the daggone views and the numbers. And now that the black women are saying stuff and that one woman said that he's getting clout off of you, it sounded like that's what she was um, inferring, which is like, girl, don't nobody, no, no one in your chat, one, is going to be following Austin damn Holloman. And two, I promise you, he don't want none of them following him any daggone way. I'm pretty sure he's doing just fine. I don't want nobody from your chat. And I'm much less than him, I'm sure. Not near one a person. Near none of them. Because they all half damn crazy. They all sitting up here going to tell somebody. Child, these people don't ever uh, super chat Kendra. They do not be super chatting Kendra at all. I mean, she making money off of the views, of course. But ain't never no super chats. And she talking about, oh, I'll get to all of y'all. So now all of a sudden people want to super chat. So that's when the sisterhood gets ignited. Whenever somebody comes into the space of man that looks like they trying to get something off. Again. Goodbye. Now it's like four minutes. She about to rant. Uh, you stop your lives. I'm going to stop my lives and all the lives and stop. You ain't stop okay. it. Listen, can y'all build your own shit, please? Can all y'all build your own pages and your own platforms without trying to call and use my good ass, hard ass work? Put in the work just like I put in the work. Girl, ain't nobody using shit. you. Now, all you want to do is get black women upset. So they can start. Black, black women, yeah, I believe that. Really take the advice. I don't care if you want to date a white woman. It is go ahead. Kendra, calm down, cause you all over the place. You're showing that he got to you, girl. You jumpity jump jumping around. Calm down. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Child, it's not that serious. Hey, I, I, I don't care. 
You do. Black women, I don't care. Asian women, I don't care. Go and date them. Don't spend your time worrying about us. We don't, you, well, what you say, we don't work out. We talk bad. We want you to make a lot of money. Okay, so you don't want us. We don't want you. It sounds like, it sounds like an equal category. Okay. Many, many years ago, I'll never forget this. Yep. And it's so old Here because it was the Oprah Winfrey show. Oprah. And Steve Harvey was on the Oprah Winfrey show, and I think he was up there for the tour for, um, the tour for his book, um, Act Like a Lady, Think Like a Man. And a woman in the audience said, you know, she was talking about when she sees black men with white women and how it bothered her. And Steve Harvey said, ladies, the black men that y'all see with white women, y'all don't want those men anyways. And I never forgot it. And then I'm, I kid you not, every time I- Child, did Steve Harvey say that? Y'all know I'm about to go find it. Child, did Steve Harvey say that? Because y'all know damn well I'm going to go find it and see what that's about. Mm -mm -mm. Keep talking, child. Keep talking. I mean, a black man that dates a woman that's not black, we don't want him anyways. We don't want him. If he's already dating, probably he don't want y'all. So what are you saying? Why are you triggered, Kendra? Why? Why? Something, 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 something just ain't right. But it's okay for when it's like Eve and her man. Yeah, girl, go, girl. But when it's Bronny James and his girlfriend, oh, how could he do this? How could LeBron let this happen? He always want to go to a white woman. He always want to go to a white woman. Hmm. Interesting how that works. Gabby said a bay. Yeah, Gabby. Yeah, you go, girl. Yeah, girl, you go, girl. She having a baby. She got her man. She got her man. She got her man. Y'all over here, I know I know the man ain't white. You mad at Simone Biles. She's a sis. She got a brother. You still mad. You still mad. That's the problem. It's always you not going to tell me and you think you control something. Y'all, only thing you can control is yourself. All this thinking you're going to control somebody else and what they do, how they do it, when they do it, and who they do it with. Y'all just be wasting your own damn time, life, energy, and effort looking half damn crazy and speaking all of those stereotypes to be true. Because you can't control yourself. You can't control your emotions. You can't calm down. You can't think anything through. You can't get to your mouth before, I'm sorry, you can't get to your brain before your mouth opens and says something that's so stupid and don't make no damn sense, look half damn crazy, then play right into the same things that you say are stereotypes and then say it's not true. Black women are not angry, girl. Black women are not angry. We're the least protected. Maybe because you act like this. I'm just saying, what do I know, child? Oh, yeah, I'm a black woman. Gotta get that in there. Shout out to YouTube. Listen, let me say this. Let me say I, this. I actually love Kanye West. I know Kanye West in real life. And Kanye West has oh, a lot of we things don't for my care. career. But I don't know not one black woman that want to walk around barefoot around this motherfucking earth with no clothes. I don't, I don't know any black woman that wants to be his wife. Not one. So since Kendra don't know one black woman that wants to have anything to do with Kanye West, now all of a sudden that means no black woman wants Kanye West. What was Amber Rose? I mean, I know she El Mulatto, but what was Amber Rose? I don't know who the hell else Kanye been with because I don't care. I don't follow that man like that. Child, whatever. Go on, girl, because you're not triggered. You're not upset. Go on, girl. So all the black men who don't want black women, we are okay. And we are giving you permission to focus on the other races. Oh, they're giving y'all permission. Isn't that nice? She sounds like Tiffany Cross. If you Tariq Nashi, Kevin Samuel's followers don't get behind black women. If you don't get behind black women. Mm -mm -mm. Well, Kendra G has given y'all permission. Okay. What more could you ask for? That you, that you say treat you better. We are, we are fine with it. We are not worried it don't about sound it. Like I'm going to tell you why we're not worried about it. She's still talking, child. I thought you was fine with it. You know, but shit. Let me tell you something. Tell my biggest something. sauce that God ever gave me was being a black woman. That's my superpower. Girl, please stop this. That's... N oh, God, Lord. So now you want to placate to the damn audience. Your superpower is being a black woman. Five minutes later, it's going to be, we're the most disrespected. Everyone does everything to us. Everything is so hard. We can't go to bed. We can't wake up. We can't go to the bathroom. We can't do anything. We can't walk out of the house. Shout out to Chicago. We can't go outside. No one treats us right. We don't get good health care. We don't get, ho get ho good housing prices. Sorry, y'all. We don't get good anything. The men are no good. The men are no good. No one's no good. Everything is bad for us. Everything is horrible. Oh my God, we experience racism more than anyone else. We experience negativity more than anyone else. We have it hard at work more than everyone else. We have it hard no matter where we go with everyone else. Now, all of a sudden, your superpower, is <laughs> now your superpower 
is being a black woman, child. You cannot make this shit up. These people, Kendra, you're not triggered at all, child. You're not triggered at all. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something, child. Now, you're going to let that daggone man trigger you when all you had to do is disconnect the call. When you saw it was going to be some BS, all you had to do was... Di- she, um... Remember that dude that came on here and she, he told her that he was like 25 and he looked like he was 80 and she hung up on him real quick. Why didn't she just do that with Austin? Because she wanted to feed into that mess to get everybody all riled up and to go ahead and get the views up on this daggone video. Building her platform on the backs of black women and y'all fall for it hook, line and sinker. Because if whatever Austin was saying don't apply. What happened to let it fly? Nope. I'm going to tell him. That's my superpower. We run everything. Girl, we what? anything working without a black woman being a part of it. Wah, 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 wah. What the hell is... Girl, see, just be saying any old thing. <laughs> just out here running off at the mouth saying any old thing. What the hell are black women out here running? Bueller. 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 Hell, the wig shop is owned by the Asians. What y'all out here running? Bueller. 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 The lashes come from the same damn people. What y'all running? Bueller. The clothes that you get come from Sheen. Asian. Bueller. Help me understand what the hell it is that black women are running. We got our own companies. Girl, what? The stats say that even though you open up an LLC, that don't mean that you're doing anything. If you ain't making no money, you ain't cre- creating no wealth, no generational wealth not struggling, not begging the government for everything, then the odds are it's not really working out that well. So you can run off at the mouth and say whatever you want. You can say whatever you want. That's why we got people around here thinking that they models and all they are are whores. Whore them all 2024. They're sex workers. Shout out to Diddy. No Diddy. But if you want to think that you're something else, that's fine. You can think it. But I'll be definitely the person to put you in reality. You're a whore, you're a whore. I'm not saying that about Kendra, but I'm talking about, you know, the sex workers and the OF people that claim that they models. Ain't seen the cover of a Vogue magazine ever in daggone life. Child, them people, if you ain't going to the um, Anna Wintour um, thing in New York, Met Gala, Met Gala, child. If you ain't going to the Met Gala, you ain't no damn model. Go tell it to your mama because she the only one that's going to support that foolishness. Oh, and Kendra G. It's just a fact all the things that you need in life you're gonna she's not triggered at all all the things that you need in life you're going to need a black woman oh lord have mercy own nothing own nothing so what do y'all need kendra g's uh youtube and other platforms in order to live your life i promise you i don't need nothing from you kendra came from a black woman Cause if your black mama didn't have your black then you came from a black man so what y'all keep saying that dumb shit like that's supposed to mean something you came from a black man and but you quick to go and and minimize him and call him crust dust rust must and ashy and talk negatively about him and talk down on him every single call whenever a woman call in and say something you ain't got nothing to say as soon as a man call in and say something about a woman you all up in a sugar honey iced tea you you take it too personally kendra child you it must got something to do with you. Because none of this bothers me, child. Because this is crazy. Half damn crazy. Yeah, you wouldn't even be here on Earth. We're super. Ma'am, you need sperm in order to get here on Earth. What are you talking about? You don't even get pregnant without the damn man. But they just act like y'all don't matter. I don't know how y'all do this, y'all. Gentlemen, shout out to everybody who is here. But gentlemen, how do you do it? I, I don't understand how you do it, why you do it, why you continue, how you deal with these people, how you continue to want to even try, why you waste your time talking about this mess, talking to these people, trying to work something out. What what happened to, child, shout out to Drizzle Drizzle and Brandon Jamal, my my people. Heroes. So if you don't recognize that, we're okay with it. Clearly Go not. Go where you think it's better and have a happy life. Flatliner24 said, here's 100 to hang up on him, Kendra. I don't want no sucker on here trolling black queens. He's insulting your channel and trolling you. Um, Well, you know one thing I will say? Y'all know, actually yesterday, I think I posted all men. It was a a plethora of black men back to back. And people were saying, oh, we're realizing that, I know 
listen, there's money in it, I guess, when it comes to black women. So people want to focus on that. But my show is not just a black woman show. All people are on my show. So if you only focus on a black woman on my show, that means you're not talking about the show in its entirety. Um, they're saying that he's still recording child. Let him get his money, child. He said he's a YouTuber. He probably got rent due. You know, times get hard when rent can't do, can't, can't get due. So he needs black, like I said. Yes, so here we go with the insults. Same old crap, just same old crap over and over and over again. Just go for the insult. Just start insulting. Just start insulting. We respect black men. We love black men. Insult, insult, insult. Oh my God, something happened to her. A black man must have did it. Oh my God, you whatever happened, a black man must have did it. A black man must have did it. Black, 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 black. Oh, so Austin Holloman is getting clout off of Kendra damn sh Oh God, these people just say any old thing that come to their damn brain. What did I say? Nothing survives without black women support. So if he, I, I'm quite sure he is recording my sh Shout out to all the women that support me, but obviously we know that it's mostly black men here. Shout out to y'all for your support. Kendra G will sit here and all these other women will down y'all and talk about y'all. And, you know, I'm a pick me mammy, transgender, small penis, all the other names that people call child. I don't give a damn. If all you got is name calling you, basically a child any that going away. Why do I care? I don't. I don't. It's childish. It's childish. And Kendra is showing her triggeredness and how childish she is right now. And she feeding into this nonsense. But then she'll come on here and turn into Kevin Samuels right before your damn eyes. Because she already know. But right now she in her, I'm going to placate to the black woman moment. Child, go on, finish this mess because I'm tired of it. Because he needs a black woman to get his bills paid. Point take it. Point take it. Point taken. No, that's just you talking because you don't know what you're talking about. You don't know nothing about him. You don't know his background, his experiences or anything. But when they're triggered and they're mad, they just say anything to make themselves feel better. You are the typical black woman, Kendra. You are the same. I don't care what your journalism stuff is. I don't care what college you went to. I don't care what TV show you was on or whatever the hell else it is that you do. You are the same. You get mad over whatever some man says because no one wants to hear any critique. You don't know how to cut things off when they need to be cut off. You can't offer anything that makes any sense. So you just go into the insulting. You should have just cut him off. But you want to do that for your YouTube channel because you want to make sure that you get every dime. That's why you let anything on this show. And it's basically a clown show at this point. That's it. That's all. Like this daggone video, go ahead and subscribe, comment. I see you all in the next one. We do not care.